and the, you know the crux of it is, you know, he ends by saying that he pivoted on Tuesday night. Uh, that he was running as a centrist, and now since he gave a more detailed policy speech on Tuesday. He's now, uh, he said, for Obama, words are merely a means to hide a left-leaning agenda behind the cloak of centrist rhetoric. That garment has now been torn. As voters see what his agenda is, his opponents can now far more effectively question his authenticity, credibility, record, and fitness to be leader of the free world. The road to the presidency just got steeper for Barack Obama, all because he pivoted on Tuesday night. Well, what did he say on Tuesday night that will be so damaging for his road to the presidency. Uh, these are specific agenda items that he proposed in that speech. Uh, I want to take away those tax breaks to companies that are shipping jobs overseas. We're going to give them to companies that invest right here in America. We're going to roll back those Bush tax cuts that went to all the wealthy people. We're going to give tax cuts to ordinary families, people who are making less than $75,000. Seniors who make less than $50,000, we want to say to them, you don't have to pay an income tax. You're already having a hard time making ends meet. We want trade deals to have labor standards and environmental standards and safety standards so our workers aren't undermined and our children aren't playing with toys based in lead paint. I will raise the minimum wage not every 10 years, but to keep pace with inflation. So if you work in America, you should not be poor. Are you seeing the problem, the political problem with these statements? Are you seeing an agenda that is woefully out of touch with the American people? I almost relish the thought of Karl Rove and the Republican noise machine calling this liberal. If they think they can knock this down with the same kinds of attempts at slurs and labeling that they've tried in the past, they might help the cause of revitalizing the word label, uh, the word liberal. Uh, Obama continues, uh, it's about time we've made college affordable for every young person in America. We're going to provide a $4,000 tuition t uh, credit every student every year. But students, you're going to have to give back something in return. You're going to have to participate in community service. Work in a homeless shelter, a veteran's home, undeserved school, join the Peace Corps. We'll invest in you, you invest in America. We're going to start having an energy policy that makes sense. We send a billion dollars to foreign nations every single day, and we're melting the polar ice caps in the bargain. That has to change. We're going to cap the emission of greenhouse gases. We're going to generate billions of dollars from polluters to invest in solar and wind and biodiesel. Raise fuel efficiency standards on cars. That's the only way we can bring down gas prices over the long term. You want to call that liberal? You want to complain? You want to say that's awful? You know... Just look at the polling data. There is literally nothing here. And I grant you, I think this is a liberal agenda. It just so happens that the American people want a liberal agenda right now. There's nothing in here that is opposed by the American public. And there is an enormous frustration that these things which are seen as commonsensical by the American public have not been addressed over the entirety of the Bush era. This election, and this is what Karl Rove is unable to express, and I don't know if he's doing it because he doesn't realize it or because he knows that it's just impolitic to say, this entire election will be against the backdrop of widespread conservative failure. You are not going to succeed in changing that fact by attacking your opponent as liberal, attacking them as being beholden to unions, it's just not going to fly. So their first draft at a tax script against Barack Obama is literally nothing to be concerned about. They may come up with something better. They may go back to the drawing board. I don't think they're going to give up, of course. But it is safe to say they don't got it right now. Uh, in just a little bit, we're going to be talking to Matt Glazer from the Burnt Orange Report, preeminent Texas blog about the upcoming Texas primary on March 4th. This is Bill Share, WHMP, news information in the arts for the Liberal Oasis radio show, audio cast, video cast on liberaloasis.com. 
here on HMP every Friday, every Saturday at 10 a.m. We'll be back in just a little bit. Back we